Hello, Vin. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Yes, I'm very sorry if I enter you, if I let you enter late because I was late with my previous student. That's why we need to extend our time. It's not really I was late. It's because Zoom was so lag that I entered late. Yeah. Okay. So, Vin, um, how are you today? I'm fine, thanks. That's good to know. Um, how's the weather in your place right now? It's very windy. Okay. So now, Vin, today we're going to have a practice test for reading. Yeah, before that, let's learn the words from our vocabulary. We have here quality qualify for that means have or give somebody the right to do something for example pantado is having a competition for halloween so who are qualified to join so all the teachers are qualified to join the halloween so that means pantado gave all the teachers currently teaching in Pantado to join the Halloween competition. Yeah, that's it. So next, persuade. This means to convince somebody or make somebody to do something by giving them, them good reasons for doing it. For example, I am telling you uh, to go to the supermarket because there is a sale and I will tell you Vin let's buy I let's avail the sale because it's buy one take one you're going to buy one phone and the other phone would be free can you do that for me please Vin please that is persuading yeah convincing somebody to do something okay so what is your example for yes. persuade Vin Yeah, I told a friend to do something because <laughs> because yeah, what well, I don't know. Ah, yes, okay, okay. But do you understand what is persuade? Yeah, I understand, but I don't know how to say it. Yeah, it's okay. As long as you under understand, then that's important. Then next we have your annual. That means it happens every year. Annual means one year or every year. Happening or done once every year. So, um... Some of the employee receive their bonus, their Christmas bonus annually. So that means every year, every Christmas, they are going to receive their bonus. Next, we have unload. This means to remove things from a vehicle or ship after it has taken them somewhere. For example, I don't know how to draw, but let's just uh, let's just think that this is a bug. Yeah, this one is your bug. So there's lots of things here. This is um, pencil. This is paper. This is yeah. This is pencil. This is paper. What else? Notebook, books, cell no. phone. Yeah, so when you say unload, that means removing things from something. Example, this one, unload your bag. So let's remove the notebook. Let's remove the books. Let's remove the cell phone until it is um, not heavy anymore. That means removing things from something, from a bag or a vehicle or ship or a boat like that. So now, Vin, can you please repeat all the words from our vocabulary? We have 
quality for okay this is uh, qualify gross. for what qualify for yes persuade okay say it again uh, persuade persuade very good annual okay annual Okay, so do you understand all these words here, Vin? Yes. Very good. Now let's proceed with our part one. You're going to read the signage and read also the sentences. Then you choose what choices from ABC have the same meaning with the signage. For example, no bicycles against glass, please. What does it mean? That means do not leave your bicycle touching the window. What about number one, Vin? If red light shows your drink is unavailable, please make another choice. So what does it mean, A, B, or C? I choose... Uh... I choose I. Okay. So can you please read your answer A? The red light goes on if the drink machine is out of order. Okay. This is okay. letter C. If the red light is on, you must choose a different drink. What about number two? Do not use this medicine for more than seven days without your doctor's advice. What does it mean? Uh, I choose I. Okay, that is letter A. Very good. How about number three? From Sunflowers Health Club to all members, it was sent last April 15. The subject is special offer. Introduce a friend to this club and receive free exercise equipment. This offer is open to existing members. Your friend must pay full 12 month fee. So what does that mean? I want you to read your answer loudly, Vin. Hmm. I choose the your annual fee for some of the oh no, I choose uh and it's B. Okay. You will qualify for the. Yeah, continue you reading. You will qualify for a gift if you pursue a uh, persuade a uh, friend to join sunflowers. Very good. So, number four, please don't park within three meters of this vehicle. Space needed for unloading. So, what does it mean? Uh, as you say, mm. okay. you, uh, you are requested to not to pack any closer than three meter to this vehicle. Very good. How about the last number, Vin? 
This towers in wonderful green stone with 497 steps stupidly. I climb to the top. The view supposed to be brilliant, but yesterday was cloudy. What did Kenny like about the tower? I choose... I just made the material used to build. Okay, so that is letter B. So for part one, you only have one mistake. So for that, you got four out of five. So let's proceed with part two the people below all want to go for a walk so on the opposite page there are description of eight walks then you decide which person would be the most suitable for the following people uh, with for the following walk so here then we have another st uh, sets of vocabulary we have steep, that means rising or falling quickly, not gradually. So for example, steep, like this one, this is, I know, how do I describe steep? Rising and falling quickly, not gradually. Okay, so for example, this is the mountain. Then here, this is you because you reach the top of the mountain. But you lose your balance. So you steep off the ground. So when you say steep, it's direct, very quick. You are quickly falling like that. When you say gradually, you fall here, 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 here until you reach the ground. But when you say steep, this is very painful because it is direct or quickly. Yes. So now, V, next we have operation, the process of cutting open a part of a person's body in order to remove or repair a damaged part. So have you ever seen an operation in the hospital, Vin? Mm. I don't know. Operation, for example, they are going to open a wound or open your tummy. Or for example, the mother, mother who's giving birth, they are going to open the stomach of the mom because the mom was having difficulty in, in what's that, in, nor in normal delivery for the baby so they are going to open so while op uh, that opening to the stomach of the mom is called operation yeah to remove the baby so recover can you imagine operation vin or do you want to see picture of operation do you want do you understand what is operation or do you want a picture so that you can visualize? Okay, don't worry. I will just set, uh, show you a picture of an operation. So this is what operation looks look like. Lots of doctors, they are opening a person's body. Yeah. Ah, okay. Like that. Okay. So next we have recover. To become completely well again after oh. an illness or injury. So after operation, we need to recover gradually. To become completely well. Yes. Okay. Lose one's way. Does this mean... Um, how do I say this one? How do I describe lose one's way? This means um, you lost your way or you're lost. Yeah, become lost or fail to reach one's destination. For example, you will say, um, 
Mom, can um, I will go to my friend's house in Ho Chi Minh City. But you arrive in Hanoi. So that means you lose your way going to Ho Chi Minh City because you arrive in Hanoi. You lose uh -huh. your direction like that. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Disturb, that means to interrupt what someone is doing. For example, we are having class. Then, then my next student was so early. She or he entered the Zoom very or early. That means that my next student disturbed us because he interrupted our lesson. Yeah, there are so many examples or situations for disturb. For example, your mom is talking to you. And your brother is like, mom, I want money. I want this toy. So that means your brother is disturbing your mom. Or your mom is attending some Zoom meeting with, with his client or cost, with her client or customers. Then you are, mom, 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 can I, can you, uh, did, uh, can you see my phone? Where is my phone? Where is the broom? Where is the plate? So, that way, you are disturbing your mom's meeting because you are interrupting. Any act of interruption means disturbing. Okay, Vin? Next, we have here gold digger. Okay, so gold digger, we, des we describe a person as a gold digger if they want to attract a rich person. Usually, Vin... Women are called gold digger because, for example, if teacher AM, okay, I am a woman, right? So teacher AM only wants to date rich men or older women, older men who have lots or tons of money in the world. So you call teacher AM as gold digger. But that is just an example because I'm not a gold digger. <laughs> Okay, as long as you are, you just want to date someone for money, you are after their money, then you are a gold digger. Yeah. There are also some cases where men are gold diggers. Yeah, same situation but different gender. It can be a man or woman. So now, Vin, can you please repeat all the words from our vocabulary? Mm. Uh, okay. Steep operation recover the stuff go digger. Okay. So now do you have any question question about these words? Uh, okay. Okay. Yes, I understand. What, Vin? Uh, I say, I say yes. Hello. Uh, I say I understand. I'll help as well. I'm sorry, but I can't hear you well. Do you understand all of this or no? Uh, I I understand all this well. Okay, very good. So now let's proceed with part two. I want you to take your time reading <coughs> number six to ten and walks for everyone. Then you can just write your answer beside each number. Take your time, Vin. What is Oh, you're going to read silently number six to ten. Then you are going to read also the choices, walks for everyone silently. Then you match number 6 to 10 to letters A to H. Yeah. So any question about this task? 
No. Uh... Uh, okay. So I'll just I'll just let you take your time. Okay. Okay, so is this your final answer, Vin? Oh, yeah. So we have here. Yes, this is my time. Yes. So we have here. Wait a minute. E, D, H, and B. So how much was your previous score? Four. Four. Okay, so this is um, eight out of ten. Yeah. 
So let's proceed with part three. I want you to look at the sentences below about a theater. Then you read the text to decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. You can mark A or B. A for correct and B for not correct. But before that, another set of vocabulary. We have reservation. This means arrangement for a seat on a plane or train or room in a hotel to be kept for you. Okay, example. Today is your birthday. Since today is your birthday, your mom called the restaurant to reserve a table for four in your family. So when you arrive in the when you arrive in the restaurant, you don't need to wait for other table to be to to be available because you have a reservation for four people. Okay, this means that they will keep keep the table only for you or it can be a room in a hotel, a seat on a plane or train. That's it. So here, pedestrian crossing. Okay, so can you imagine what a pedestrian crossing looks like, Vin? Yes. Okay, yeah, very, that's good to know. So what color is the pedestrian crossing usually? In Vietnam, what is the color of pedestrian crossing? Uh, is that right? Yes, very good. So next we have yes, wheelchair. It is a wheel. It is a chair that have wheels on it. So usually only those person who have um this ability uses wheelchair or people who cannot walk because of accident or illness so wheelchair wheelchair are made for them or for example there is a person who doesn't have a feet yeah so that person needs a wheelchair do you know how a wheelchair look like yes very good so next we have refuse. That means you are going to decline or say that you will not do something that somebody has asked you to do. For example, I will tell tell you, um, okay, Vin. So I want you to do a video. Then you can submit it in five minutes. Then you will say, um, teacher, I cannot do that because I'm so busy. So that way you refuse to my, um, to my request. You decline. You say no. Saying no. Saying I cannot do that means refusing. Okay, you cannot do something. So we have here reservation, pedestrian crossing, wheelchair, and refuse. Any question, Vin? No. Okay, let's proceed with part three. I want you to read Goddington Theater loudly. Okay. Uh, the Golden Gun Theatre ticket office is open from 12 noon until 4 p.m. Monday to Friday and for half an hour in the evening before the advertised start time for each performance. Telephone for booking. The ticket are here at the ticket office for you to collect or uh, if you prefer a charge up. 35 miles uh, is made to ask them for you. No, I said, just Josh is made for booking by credit card. The reservations are held for up to four days, allowing times to call and to pray for ticket or send payment in the post. Post booking, you can write to the Ticket office requesting ticket or to confirm a reservation in form for disabled. The theater has space for up to five wheelchairs at a uh, performance. 
has the seat in position 5 to 16 of row A can be removed. If you have difficult room stairs, please let us know when booking. Jordan Theatre can be found within Jordan University site next to the car park, which is available for public use after 5 p.m. on weekday and all day at the week. If traveling by car, coming from the south end of Princess Street, you will see the library on your right. The next building is on the your right is going the new university. The, there is a pedestrian <coughs> crossing beside the front entrance. Take the next turning on the right after crossing into Broad, the Broad Street, which take you along the side going the new university. Then first right into the car park, drive up to the car park. They straight ahead of you, stop as close as possible to the orange machine. Put one pound coin in the machine and the gas will rise. Not, do not try to put a coin in the machine by getting out of your car. It is likely that by the time you get back in your car, the gate will already be closed again. Now the car park are shown on the map. There is an hourly charge. You may find a free parking place. On one of the side street, you will need about 13 minutes walk from the station. Taxis are available from the front of station. The university is uh, 8 to 10 minutes walk from the main bus station. An ordering taxi from theater has to be picked up at the bottom of North Street. Taxi will not come to into the park because of entrance charge. Okay, so thank you for reading that one, Vin. So now I want you to write your answer A or B next to numbers 11 to 20. Okay. không dịch đấy từ
Okay, let's check. We have here have a, a the last one. Uh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. A B A a B B A A. Oh my God, this is too small. Okay. B O. What's this? A very good. A B. Yeah, you can write the answer for number twenty. So, how much was your score? That was. 8 out of 10. Eight. Okay, 8. 9, 10. 10, 10, 11. 12. 12 and 13. Okay, so you got 13 out of 20. 13 out of 20. Okay. So now, Vin, let's proceed with part four. I want you to read the text and question below. You can mark the correct letter A, B, or C. Yes, can you please read the text loudly? Mm. Okay. Obes is an organization which have been for everywhere. It has built an eye hospital inside aeroplane and flown it uh, all over the world with an international medical team. Samana Graham, a 14 years of school from England, when with men to Mongolia, Samana Australia, uh, and to a young Mongolian girl last year when it was struck was walking home from school. She was attacked by boys with sticks and her eyes were badly damaged. Dr. Duffy and an obvious doctor say would have an operation. She would never see again. I thought about the everyday things. I do that she couldn't think. I like reading school books, watching television, seeing friends. And I realized how lucky I am. The always team agreed to operate on L2, and I was allowed to watch together with some Mongolian medical student. I pray. Um, hold on, Vin. Yeah, I'm for. I'm so sorry to cut you here because Zoom will automatically end less than one minute. Yeah, so we will just continue. Uh, on Saturday, would that be okay? Okay. Yeah, so thank you so much for joining our class. I'll be seeing you next Saturday. Enjoy your dinner and have a good night. Bye-bye, Vin. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye. -bye,